Well, the wrong type of haircut and hair color can look disastrous, but to prevent that from happening to you, we've got tips from Live at Five Style contributor Paul Trailer. And lots of people want to do this, but they don't know how, and they're a little scared. And then when you do it, you're like, oh no, what do I do? Because you're stuck with it. But tips to get us through making that adjustment, if you will. Well, you know, uh, we do a lot of segments here, uh, what we call our makeover segments. Mm -hmm. And every day in our salon, we have clients that come in and they will show us pictures. They will show us, you know, when they were 10 years old, make me look <laughs> like that again. Uh, but the whole idea is they come in and say, I think I want to try something, but I don't know if I have the courage. Mm -hmm. Really what you're looking for is let your salon professional give you some really good tips on what would be best suited for you. Hair texture, hair color, bone structure, eye color, etc. Because all of that you have to take into consideration before you make that jump. Most certainly. And then also we like to instruct or give you the idea of what type of maintenance you will have with this. Because right. you might want to do it today, but am I, do I want to be married to it for a long period of right. time? So we try to give you those ideas. And each time a client will come in, we'll sit down with them, really give a good complete consultation. We'll tell them pictures really speak a thousand words because to me, blonde to you might not be blonde to me. Mm. Red to you might be orange to me. So that right there will give us a, a really good, clear indication of what we want to do. And then from there, we just sit with the model and then we talk to them and try to give them really good ideas about what will transpire. Now and let's talk about the model that you brought today before yes. we actually show her okay. because the model that you brought today she started out and she was a brunette. Yes, she was. And her hair was actually, uh, and this was a client that came in, her hair was right about collarbone length, so right about this length. Uh, and it was actually virgin hair, no color in it, and it just a very good texture of hair and a pretty haircut. But she said, I want to try something different, a little bit more bolder. Mm -hmm. And so we made a pretty significant change. And I think once you see her, you will really get an indication of what we have done. This is Miss Sheena. Wow. And as you see, we went through and did a bleach blonde on her. So we came through and lightened every piece of hair on her. And one of our master stylists at our salon, Haley Harden, did the haircut and the color. And she did a razor cut with this. and. Because we were removing so much length, we left a really long fringe up front. So that gives her that bit of security, mm -hmm. okay? Keeps her from, from feeling just really like, oh my gosh, She can kind of hide behind those long just bangs. Just a little bit. <laughs> and so that's what we call maybe one of those short, long haircuts, mm -hmm. okay? Or Adorable. a long, short haircut. But this right here, bleach haircut, or bleach, something that you will have to maintain really about every five, six weeks. Mm -hmm. And that's something that really will require just a little bit of maintenance on her. But as she said, I feel like a movie star. And she looks like one too. That she does. Well, that. Paul, thank you so much. And if okay. folks want more information, obviously the best thing to do, talk to your hair salon professional yes, first before you make that jump. That way you'll be excited about it and feel like a movie star too. You know it. Thanks, Paul. And you can see this segment again on KFDM.com.